Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by transpiration. You should then be able to describe the factors that affect the rate of transpiration in plants. And finally, you should be able to describe the roles of stomata and guard cells in gas exchange and in water loss. In the last video we looked at the different tissues found in the leaf. Two of the key tissues include the palisade mesophyll and the xylem. The palisade mesophyll is where photosynthesis takes place and xylem tissue transports water and dissolved mineral ions from the roots to the leaves. Remember that water enters the roots through root hair cells, and we looked at those in the video on specialised plant cells. Now water is constantly evaporating from the surfaces of leaves, and this process is called transpiration. Transpiration starts with the evaporation of water from cells inside the leaf, and we can see that here. The water vapour then diffuses through the air spaces in the spongy mesophyll and out of the leaf through the stomata. Now water passes from the xylem into the leaf to replace the water that's been lost. And finally water is drawn into the root hair cells and up the xylem vessels to the leaf. Scientists call this whole process the transpiration stream. Now transpiration is a really important process. Firstly transpiration brings water to the leaf and remember that water is required for photosynthesis. Secondly, the transpiration stream transports dissolved mineral ions such as magnesium, which play important roles in the plant. And finally, the evaporation of water from the leaf cools the leaf down, and that's really important in warm weather. In the exams, you need to be able to describe the factors that affect the rate of transpiration. Firstly, the rate of transpiration is greater at higher temperatures. That's because evaporation is faster when temperatures are higher. Transpiration is also faster under dry conditions when the air is not humid. And again, that's because evaporation takes place more quickly under dry conditions. The rate of transpiration increases in windy conditions, and that's because wind removes any water vapour, allowing more water to evaporate. And finally, the rate of transpiration increases when the light intensity increases. That's because high light intensity increases the rate of photosynthesis. The stomata now open to allow carbon dioxide to enter. Once the stomata have opened, water vapour can now pass out of the leaf. We're going to finish now by looking at how stomata work. Stomata are surrounded by two guard cells. When the light intensity is high, for example during the day, the guard cells swell and they change their shape. This causes the stomata to open like this. Now carbon dioxide can diffuse into the leaf and be used in photosynthesis. Under hot conditions the plant closes its stomata to reduce water loss by transpiration, but that now means that the plant cannot photosynthesize. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on transpiration and stomata in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by transpiration. You should then be able to describe the factors that affect the rate of transpiration in plants. And finally, you should be able to describe the roles of stomata and guard cells in gas exchange and water loss.